An elementary school classroom experiment is going viral, and healthcare workers are hoping it'll be an effective tool in battling the flu virus this year. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser is live at Riverview High School this evening, where they're offering students free vaccines. And Eric, they've already seen a few outbreaks in Hillsborough County Schools this year. They have, Katie. I'll tell you, it has been a tough flu season for Hillsborough County Schools. As you said, several outbreaks, and this happens to be the year that they weren't able to work out an agreement with the vendor that had provided flu shots free of charge to kids at the beginning of the school year. So this is what they're doing instead. They are working it out so that they can give those flu shots to students at various schools throughout this past week, a program offering vaccines to those students and their parents if they need it. Vaccines, of course, considered to be the most effective way of battling the flu, but also washing your hands frequently. That is a message being driven home by a little social experiment that has gone viral on social media. Pretty gross to see that. That is pretty much everyone's first reaction when they see this experiment from Geraldine Metcalf's elementary school science class in Idaho. The bagged bread slices growing bacteria and viruses has itself gone viral, demonstrating how important it is to keep those hands clean. Yes. Dr. Michael Weiss with the Hillsborough County Health Department says while it's not a controlled scientific study, the bread experiment absolutely makes a valid point. But hand washing alone won't necessarily help once you get sick, which is why they strongly encourage immunizations. Getting the flu shot um, we've seen has prevented people from getting more seriously ill if they get sick with influenza, as well as preventing hospitalizations and, and deaths. The experiment demonstrates the difference over time between bread contaminated with germs from the classroom's Chromebooks to slices untouched, contaminated by dirty hands, and those cleaned with soap and water and hand sanitizer. Well, I think people think, like I said, that hand sanitizer kind of like does the job, um, but it looks like you need to maybe like get things off completely off of your hands. Do you want to wash baby Heidi's hands? The timing says the health department could not be better for this little experiment to be popping up on social media because the flu is running rampant in more than 20 states right now, earlier in the season than usual. Parents we spoke with say their trusty bottle of sanitizer is never far away, but the experiment shows the most effective means of keeping those germs at bay is a good hand washing. I think that it would really persuade them that they need to encourage hand washing and always have hand sanitizer available. The advice to wash your hands frequently isn't exactly new information, but for some reason the message doesn't always get through. Health workers and parents hope these images, as gross as they may be, will get that point across. You, you can't deny what this is showing you. And a lot of people, you have, they have to see to learn something. Yes, keep those hands clean. By the way, if you are not able to get out here to Riverview High School tonight for those free shots, again, lasting until 7 o'clock tonight, the Hillsborough County Health Department working with the schools is offering one more of these free opportunities. It is going to be at Plant City High School on Thursday, also between 5 and 7 p.m. All right, Eric, we have information about how you can stay healthy this flu season at WTSP.com.